This video explains how to modify the axis of a base R plot using the axis function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples for the application of the axis function. And all of these applications are based on the plot that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot has been created. And as you can see, this is a scatter plot, which contains 100 numeric values. And you can also see that the y axis and the x axis have been specified by the default specifications of the plot function. So in the next examples, I will show you how to modify these axes in R. So in the first example, I will show you how to modify the x and y axis of our plot. For this, we first need to redraw our plot without any axis values. And we can do that, as you can see, in lines four to six. So in these lines of code, I'm specifying the x x and the y x arguments to be equal to n. So if you run lines four to six of the code, you can see that our plot is recreated. And this time, our plot is shown without any axis values. So if we want to add axis to this plot using the axis function, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 7 to 10. So in lines 7 to 8 of the code, I'm first specifying that I want to draw axis values on the x-axis. And I'm doing that by specifying the side to be equal to 1. So the side argument corresponds to 1 for the x-axis, to the value 2 for the y-axis, to the value 3 for the upper part of the plot, and to the value 4 for the right side of the plot. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to draw our axis values on the side 1, so on the x-axis of our plot. And then I'm also specifying the values that I want to draw on this axis. So if you run lines 7 to 8 of the code, you can see at the bottom that a new axis is added to the x-axis of our plot. And as you can see, the values that are shown in this plot are corresponding to the vector that I have specified within the axis function. Similar to that, we can apply the axis function once again to create a y-axis for our plot. So in this case, we need to specify the side argument to be equal to the value 2. And in this case, we are specifying a vector containing the values 10, 50, and 90. So if you run lines 9 and 10 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time, we have added a manually specified y-axis. So in this first example, I have explained how to modify the x and y-axis of a plot. However, it's also possible to modify the other sides of our plot using the axis function. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 12 of the code. So once again, in lines 12 to 14, I'm drawing our plot without any axis values. And then in line 15 to 16, I'm specifying the side within the axis function to be equal to 3. And then once again, I'm specifying a vector of values that I want to add to this side. So if you run lines 15 and 16 of the code, you can see that our axis values are this time added at the top of the plot. And similar to that, we can apply the axis function once again with the side argument to be equal to 4. And then after running lines 17 and 18 of the code, you can see that another axis has been added on the right side of the plot. So in this second example, I have explained how to add axis values on top and on the right side of the plot. And I have shown you how to do that based on the x x and the y x arguments in combination with the axis function. However, I want to show you another example in which I'm not using the x x and y x arguments, but the axis argument, as you can see in lines 20 and 21 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that another plot is created at the bottom right. And as you can see, this time we have also removed the box that was shown around our plot. And now to this plot without any axis values or lines around the plot, we can also apply the axis function as you can see in lines 22 to 25 of the code. So these lines of code are basically the same as in lines 7 to 10. 
So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our plot is updated. And as you can see, we have added access to our plot. However, there's still no box around the plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.